need to improve its relationship with the, uh, with the Pacific Island nations as Australia pivots to improve its, uh, improve its relationships. But what role does climate change have in um, hampering the improving relationship between Australia and the Pacific? Australia's uh, relationship with Tuvalu and many uh, Pacific Island countries is uh, of great significance and that continues to remain so. Uh, and of course, uh, the issue of climate change is an issue that perhaps that needs proper elaboration uh, and uh, understanding uh, between our, our two countries because it is uh, now um, regarded and looked at maybe as a sticky issue besides our, uh, our good relationship with the Wall Street. It doesn't mean that we are lowering the importance of this relationship with Australia. And I appreciate the step of policy that Australia has put on the floor. And as I, as I said in the ANU in Canberra and also in Tuvalu, where I hosted the uh, leaders of the Pacific, including Prime Minister Morrison, uh, under the Pacific Island Leaders Forum, that we need to uh, elaborate, understand better the implications of and the commitments under the step of policy. Climate change is an issue that is now undeniably uh, uh, accepted by the world community as uh, a threat, and the forum leaders of the Pacific have said it is the most single existential threat to the security and livelihood of people of the Pacific. The communicated that came out of the forum in Tuvalu, signed off, of course, by leaders, including Morrison, refers to the importance and the entire situation facing small island countries in the Pacific, and called for urgent actions to transition away from fossil fuels, including particularly coal. And this is a message that I want to say again. We need to do, understand and elaborate on that for concrete actions. Therefore, uh, I certainly call and suggest that perhaps we need better support from the uh, Australian delegation, especially those who are here on the floor, to look more at supporting the special reports of the IPCC. Science is already there. What is needed is the opinion of the public, the people, to support, to give support to that science. There is no other process behind, besides the uh, climate change process to address this threat to the livelihoods of people, not only in the Pacific, but world over. So we must do our work here to come out with uh, concrete uh, decisions. And is that the main thing you would like to see Australia do as part of these negotiations uh, and through its efforts to reduce its emissions uh, at home? Absolutely. I think we need uh, concrete commitments from uh, the negotiators. Uh, and I call uh, many of these um, Australian negotiators, I know them by person. We have been working on the floor for many years. And I respect and I admire their stamina, their contribution to this process. And also, as I said earlier on, the government in Canberra. But we need to step up to perhaps move up to a to support more the science that has been put on the floor from IPCC. Not one, but more than one special report, and particularly the reports on 1.5 degrees and impacts on sites like Tuvalu, and also on the oceans upon which we live in the Pacific. I think we really need, that is the key message we need to do. Yes, of course, people are talking about green, blue carbons. These have nothing to do with reduction of emissions global emissions to the atmosphere because this is already it's like translate transferring your actions to be done by small islands like country uh, like Tuvalu. You get funding to plant mangroves perhaps or vegetation along the beach will get washed uh, come another uh, westerly but at home no reduction is happening. That is not real reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. And what have you seen just in the last few years in terms of the climate impacts you're already seeing in Tuvalu and in our other Pacific Island nations? I, I think the empirical evidence is there. We've seen it and our leaders of the Pacific came to Tuvalu last August and they were totally taken, overwhelmed by the extreme vulnerability of the islands. 
you are on the middle of the island and you are looking at the lagoon to your left and to your right is the ocean side with waves crushing on top of the shores. Prime Minister Morrison was there, he was my friend, we danced on the floor together. I, I, I think he got the appreciation and I really appreciate that he takes home the message. We need to take this and communicate this better to the, community, the, the people at personal level. And I think that is the basis that upon which we need to, to work on so that we get concrete support to the government and as well as positions of Australia and other parties as well here in COP25. All the best. My condolences to the, those affected by bushfire. I wish them a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.